Welcome back. We're going to go back at the uh, the Holy Triumph again. <laughs> yeah, I did get a few parts in the mail there yesterday. Got a, a nice looking uh, piston kit with the wrist pins and rings and all that stuff. I've uh, I've honed out the cylinder bores. They're nice and clean now. I checked the piston. Uh, Clearances and I checked the rings, the end gaps, and the side play in the pistons as well. So, anyway, they're all ready to go in. But more important than that, I need to get that crankcase all cleaned out, and I think I've been successful doing that. Uh, let me just go around here and I'll show you the jiggery pokery that I've been up to here. <laughs> This is my old parts washer. I was hoping it would fit under the bike, but it didn't quite fit. So I put that old uh, an old baking pan in underneath anyway. That's to uh, catch the oil. As you can see, I've taken up the, uh, the drain plug and the filter screen. And Anyway, I started flushing it out by using the parts washer. I hooked a little hose onto the hose and... Uh, I've been flushing that crankcase out now. I probably did it about a dozen times. I actually lost count, but uh, I'm not seeing any more little pieces of aluminum grit and that sort of thing coming out in the fluid anymore, so I'm pretty sure I've got it nice and clean. Um, what I intend to do after I take this timing cover off and clean everything up in there is to fill that entire crankcase with used motor oil good clean but used motor oil just for one final flush and that'll make sure that uh where all the uh varisol went in there it'll lube everything up good i know that uh that uh, you know the crank crankshaft flywheel isn't going to rust or anything like that and plus it'll give it one final real hell of a good flush to to make sure there's nothing left in there and after I do that I'm going to uh, you know I'll take the uh, the oil out of the the frame there I'll drain that out even though it's kind of a shame I think he just did an oil job on this maybe 50 miles ago or something but uh, anyway I'll clean the filter screen out in there and everything because I don't think that's been done in quite a while so uh, anyway it's coming along, but like I say, more important than anything, I have to make sure there's none of that aluminum grit and particulate kicking around in the engine. Because if you've got a little piece like that stuck under one of those check uh, check valves in the oil pump, the oil pump would stop working. And like I said before, the the fun would be over. But I did find quite a little quite a little pile of aluminum in there. Anyway, some of it would have went out the exhaust pipe and, and stuff, but of course when it blew the hole down through the piston, it would have had to go into the crankcase. So. Anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I think, well, yeah, the next thing to do will be take this cover off and check out what's in under there before I do anything else. Okay, things are looking pretty good here in the, uh, the primary cover. I don't think I'm going to find any anything in there to, that I need to worry about. I suppose a smart man would drain that oil tank out first so I don't have oil running out of the uh, oil pump ports once the pump is off. But uh, Anyway, I don't see any, any kind of uh, aluminum grit or anything like that here in this... Uh, in this case so i think that's pretty good as far as that goes everything looks nice and clean and tidy everything looks right so uh like i say i'll just you know play it safe and clean out the ports under that pump make sure the pump is pumping like it should and then i should be able to uh get busy here and uh you know get the pistons on there and i think i will flush that that bottom end out one more time with uh, old motor oil and I have a good supply of that here because I just changed the oil on my wife's car so even though it's used oil I know it's clean so I'll be able to flush that through there and then drain that out of there and 
I'll be ready to start putting it together. Of course, I I got to get these little gaskets off of here and stuff. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I do have a gasket kit coming for it, but I don't know when that's going to come. So anyway, let's see what happens next. I just thought you might want to see this. This is probably represents about I don't know 60% of the stuff that I that I managed to get out of the crankcase and there's the hole in the piston so I'm pretty sure I got it all like I said a lot of it would have uh, got melted and gone out the uh, the exhaust uh, the exhaust pipe before it blew a hole right through the uh, piston crown there but I'm pretty sure I got all of it out of there so anyway just thought you might like to see that okay just a quick little chat about today's uh yes progress i guess you'd call it anyway uh i took the old commando there to coffee with the guys around lunchtime i hadn't done anything to this bike prior to that but when i got back i had received a, a nice new gasket kit to go along with it not my favorite kind of gasket kit but it's a gasket kit a hell of a lot better than nothing Anyways, uh, this afternoon I decided I better start cleaning stuff up and getting ready for assembly. So I left that cylinder head. You can see that nice uh, sort of gray finish on it. That's from the lapping compound. And uh, so I know that's a nice flat surface, so it should seal up well on the copper wall or copper gasket. Uh, I gave the, these are still wet by the way, they're all full of air, so. <laughs> Anyway, I gave those uh, rocker boxes a quick wash off in the parts washer. I got the old gasket off the uh, the base here, ready to go. And I gave also the cylinders a good scrubbing up, so uh, they should be all set to go the next time I get back at it. Hopefully tomorrow morning if everything goes right. So uh, anyway, that's enough for this little section.